Hey guys, welcome back today. We're work down here working on the Black Prius. A video coming on that soon. Uh, but today I wanna try to cut some springs. I have some springs that are, I don't know, they're about 12 inches long and I need to cut them down to nine and a half inches. So I'm not really sure the best way to do this. So I'm gonna try maybe a couple of things. I got a couple of 3D printed tool setups. Uh, I may try these, try, try to cut that on. I don't have a bolt cutter, so I can't use that. So I can't just, you know, crimp it off with something like that. The wire's just a little too thick for the shears that I have, the metal shears. So I'm gonna dig into this, let's get into it. Okay guys, here is my spring. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna measure it out nine and a half inches. And I already put a little mark right there. So that's kind of where I need to cut it. The problem is I need to cut it like, eh, let me see if I can get another hand in here. But I need to cut it this way, not necessarily that way. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I just think it would be cleaner on the end if I cut it like that. So let's take it out in the garage and see what options we got. Okay guys, apologize. The light is not as good out here as it is inside, but one thing I did make, and I, sorry, there's a mess up here. Uh, I really need to clean this up. That's on the list. One thing I made uh, to cut some metal pieces like these, this round bar, um, and I, I got tired of trying to cut it by hand with a grinder and it not being straight. So I went ahead and I printed this thing off a of thing of earth, and all it does is attach to a two by four and allows your grinder to pivot and cut off right there. So I may try this to cut the spring. Here, you can see that pivot. Uh, you know what, I'll probably do another video on some of my 3D printed tools, but that's that's one of them right there. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna pause this for, we're gonna put the spring in and see if this will do the job. I think I have a, a 16th cutting disc on there, so nice thin one. Okay guys, if, it's hard to see when I got this in here, but right there's my mark. Uh, let me get in a little closer. There you can see it. This, I think, is going to do what I want. Um, I think it's going to, I'm going to move it back that way a little bit and just kind of shave off the end there. Uh, let me get a camera set up here. I think we'll plug this in and, and give this a shot on cutting. All right guys, gonna be hard to see. Sorry, the light's really bad over here. I need to get a new light over here. Hey, there we go, that's a little better. But the thing is, uh, my mark's still there. Again, gonna be a little hard to see, but I think I need to just trim a slight little more off, so I'm gonna try that out. Okay guys, I think that did it. It, it kind of shaved. It didn't cut it right on. It didn't leave a big burr on the end there. I think that, I think that's going to be good. I think that's going to work for my project. So the old uh, 3D printed grinder cutoff saw thing is actually working pretty good. Now I have used it in the past to cut some of these. That one I did not. And that's what they look like. And that's just unacceptable this one I did you can see turned out great that's uh that's still I messed up drilling but hey can't win them all I guess still trying to drill more videos on that later but I think that's probably the way I'm gonna cut my springs from now on 
Uh, let me know how you guys cut springs. Uh, I don't know the specs on this one. I, 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 may, I may list it below down in the description uh, so you know what the wire, the wire gauge or the wire diameter is. But this is a pretty hefty spring wire gauge wise. So let me know how you do it. Is there a better way to do this? I think I'm going to do it using my uh, cutoff wheel on my articulating, articulating grinder. Uh, I'll put a link to this too. This was on Thingiverse. Uh, basically, it's just a, a base. There's a little circle piece in there with a screw that goes in it. Uh, there you can see what it looks like. And then uh, so you add a couple screws up here. Uh, any screws you can get at your hardware store will work. These are just wood screws down here to hold it all together. Ingenious idea. It, it's great. I love it. Uh, used it a few times now and it's worked. So maybe we'll do a separate video on its own with that. But I, I don't know. That may may not be long enough. So we're going to leave it at that. That's how I'm going to cut this spring. It's probably how I'm going to do it in the future. If you have any other ideas on how to do that or how I can improve that, leave a comment and let me know. Well, guys, not only did that seemed to cut it well we actually got it to the right size too so worked out well exactly what i needed i think let me know what you think hey guys that's all we have for today thanks for watching um like i said a video to come on this project right here this has been kind of fun but uh we'll get into it hey thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a great day